And I feel one thing I want to share with you all. The greatest destroyer of peace today is the cry of the innocent, unborn child. Even in the scripture, it is written, even if mother could forget her child, I will not forget you. I have curved you in the palm of my hand. Even if mother could forget, but today millions of unborn children are being killed. And we say nothing. In the newspapers, you read numbers of this one, that one being killed, this being destroyed. But nobody speaks of the millions of little ones who have been, have been conceived with the same life as you and I, with the life of God. And we say nothing. It's good. It's really tight in here. All right, Finny. Here we go. Stop moving, Russ. 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 Eyes are not yet seen the colors of this world. What you do to me shows me death or life. Your choice is all I have. Your voice, my only chance. Please keep me. I am alive. My heart is. We are here at the Supreme Court in Washington, D.C., and we are promoting the pro-life movement. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Pro-life people. Pro-life rule. Yeah. Only one song. Thank you. Thank you. And so today, let us hear, make a strong resolution. We are going to save every little child, every unborn child. Give them a chance to be born. For you all who come from different countries, let us all pray that we have the courage to stand by the unborn child and give the child an opportunity to love and to be loved. And I think with God's grace, we will be able to bring peace in the world. Pro life, fight for life. Pro life, fight for life. Pro life, fight for life. I am unborn. I cannot speak when I am afraid. You can feel a sigh.